Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. How do you do? How is your day going? Let me try to open the door. Let's see what happens. I think the noise is getting in. Let me close the door. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, this prophetic word says, someone is using your face. Hi, Jesus. Uh, this particular prophetic word says, someone is using your face. You know, if you do not believe in mysterious happenings, I do believe in mysterious happenings. If you do not believe in witchcraft, I believe in witchcraft. I've been through so many situations in my life that I've had to understand that this is witchcraft. I've drawn to the conclusion that this is witchcraft. Now, let me tell you, if the enemy had a way to kill you, he will kill you right away. But the power of God in your life is so strong. God's protection in your life is so strong that the enemy has never succeeded and that is why they can only end at the level of attacks and let me tell you the reason why god let some attacks happen to you because so many times we ask ourselves so many questions and we ask god so many questions and sometimes the lord is just looking at us like are you kidding me seriously like you know sometimes god looks at us like we are not appreciative but at the same time the lord looks at us like we are children you know and that is why god would always forgive us because he sees us with the eyes of children this is just a child and what a child doesn't know he can only teach the child or you can only teach the child when your child is growing up the child can make so many mistakes and you keep teaching that child until the child gets to maturity and even when you become a mother and at old age your child still remains your child because the child still keeps growing. And because the Lord sees a lot of us like children or as children, he will just have mercy on us. He will just look at us and say, okay, this is okay. You know, so many times we are hard on God. Like, if you really love me, why did you let this particular attack on me? If you really love me, why did you let this happen to me? And that and this and blah, 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 blah. And sometimes the reason why the Lord will let those attack on us is not because he doesn't love us. It is because God wants us to become stronger. It is because he wants us to learn to overcome battles on our own. It's because God wants us to be fierce. Now, let me tell you one thing. The day you get to the position whereby you become strong, the day you get to the position whereby you become mature, the Lord will let you be because he knows that you can understand but i don't know the day we can ever get to the position of maturity because no matter how big you are we can and we are always still going to make mistakes as long as we are children of god the highest prophet will make a mistake the highest pastor will make a mistake the highest pope bishop father will make a mistake whatever your religion is will make a mistake because why we are humans and that nature is never going to be taken from us so what the lord does is he makes his mercy available for us and that is why the bible says his mercies are renewed every morning why we might have sinned against god sinning is not just only you um, doing something negative or against the commandment or against the kind of things that God does not want. Sometimes when we are accusing God, we are sinning against God. When we look at God and we say, God has not blessed me and he knows how much he has blessed you. And you just being alive is enough blessings, you know. That alone is a call for mercy if God will not be angry. And even if he's angry, the mercy part of God would always overcome that is the good thing about life and that is the good thing about the kingdom of god that is the good thing about our salvation that is the good thing about our christianity the mercy part of god we always overcome the mercy part of god we always prevail no matter what we go through no matter what happens 
somebody somewhere is using your face right now and this is so shocking because how can somebody be using my face life is purely spiritual I say it again, life is purely spiritual. I'm going to be giving you the proof that somebody is using your face somewhere. You know, this is one of those prophetic words that it's not just a call for you to listen to the prophetic word, but this is a call for you to embark on a spiritual journey. It's a call for you to say, God, this enough is enough. You know, life is purely spiritual. I'll say it again. Before anything happens in the physical, it already orchestrated in the spiritual realm. So before you see something happen outside, that is why sometimes when you have a dream, you have that thing manifest and then it's like you look at yourself, you say, ah, I've seen this before. This has happened before because it's like a deja vu. It's like something that has gone, like something that has happened before. So, you know, you're like, I think I've seen this somewhere. I think this happened somewhere. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, you know, because God always reveals it. And sometimes you might not see it in the exact manner, but he finds a way to reveal something at least that will blow up your mind and your understanding. This is a proof that somebody has been using your face somewhere. Number one, you've had a confrontation whereby somebody attacked you and gossiped about you and said that you came and attacked them in their dreams. And you know that you were not the one. You know that you're not a witch. You know you're not even capable. You know you will not even think of attacking another person. Another thing is you've had somebody told you, I saw you in this particular place, in a negative place, and you know you were not the one. And the person kept saying, it was you. It was you I saw. You know it wasn't you that saw. Somebody is using your face somewhere. You've had circumstances that people have had to tell you, I saw you. And you know you were not the person that saw. Somebody is using your face somewhere. But I want to pray. Whoever is using your face will be exposed. The next time they want to do something, it is their face that will be seen. People have accused you for your innocence. I pray for you. Let the Lord expose that witch, that wizard using your face. I cover you with the precious blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen. You are preserved. I cover you with the precious blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. This is the kind of prophetic word that you should share to everybody. It's the kind of prophetic word that everybody needs this, this particular prophetic word. So connect to this word and this prayer. Somebody has been using people's faces and this is the end. This is the time to put a stop to it in the name of Jesus. Please do not forget to intercede for me. The enemy is never happy when this kind of heavy revelations have been revealed. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cast his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing. Nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. I love you. God bless you amazingly. And God bless you abundantly. I love you. Shalom.